Hey everybody, this is Kelly, and welcome to this week's Creative Life, episode number 11. I did it! Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm still getting used to this whole new system, but it's it's kind of fun. I really like it. And so this week's update, I know I was here last week and I'm back. And it was super, super motivational for me to know that I was going to be back this week and that I needed to get some stuff done. So I had a couple of questions from last week's episode. First one um, was from Michelle. Pretty sure I got the names right. Michelle asked me, <laughs> now what did I do with it? What was the lip color that I was wearing? I was so saying about my lip color. Anyway, that I wore lipstick for you guys. So it is Je ne sais quoi Rose from It Cosmetics. And you can get it, you know, online at their website. Or you can get it, at, I think I got mine at Ulta. So it just comes like this. Rose. I love all the It Cosmetics. I love, I love their face powders because they don't make my skin break out. So... Can't, recomm can't recommend them higher. So, okay, so that's the first question. The second question, I'm gonna switch to my overhead cam to show you this one, was from Maria. She asked about um, what was this marker in my Bitsy Bob photos for the shop update? And it is a friction marker. And she asked, well, what do you use that for? And I said, well, you use it to highlight your working copy. Okay, so how this works, Michelle, I just wanted to show you a demo, is that let's say you had, you know, this chart for me. Your nice chart is in here, but you would make a copy of the actual chart, and you call this your working copy, okay? Um, and that's the appropriate way to copy, just as a working copy for yourself, not for anybody else. And then as you do each color, I don't know if I can bring this up closer. Um, I'm going to highlight a row just so then I can show you. Um, you then highlight that you finished it. And then as you go along, you can highlight sections. And then that way you know what's done, what's not done. Now this is a fairly simple chart, but maybe when we're in the pumpkin part, um, it gets a little bit more complex. So a highlighter would really help you to show you what's been done, what hasn't been done. So that's what works. Now what's great about friction markers is it has on the cap an eraser. So let's say I mark this um, in error. I can erase. So that's what's nice about the friction markers. And you can get these, I think I sent you a link, um, but you can get a set of these on Amazon. I'll put a link below in the description if any of you guys are interested in these. Um, they work pretty slick. I really enjoy them. So fantastic. So how have you guys been this week? I Like I say, I was super motiv motivated to get stuff done. I don't know why I trip on my words when I'm doing video. Just slow down maybe, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I did some wool. I did, um, I have a finish. And yeah, so why don't I just go ahead and get started. Um, and then I have some plans for this next week. Because um, again, that again keeps me super focused to show you. So I'm going to switch back to my overhead and show you what I got going on. Okay, so my finish was the one that I thought I would get done, and that's from the Jack-O-Lantern Julie from Brenda Gervais with a needle. Yep, Brenda Gervais. And then, so this is finished. So I think my plan is to I'll show you my next whip, but the next chart that I'm doing in this book, I'm going to wait to finish all these until I'm I'm done stitching all of them, and then I will go ahead and finish. So let's get this out of the way. So that is my finish for this week. It's so cute. Again, I made some um, some color substitutions. Nothing too radical or that's radically different from the call for. Just I just picked what was closest that I had in my stash. So awesome. Um, and the next one that I'm going to do, I might as well just show you since I have the book out is this Ghosts and Goblins one. That's my, that's my whip that's coming up. And I'll show you the whip too, since I have it right here. 
I'm a little concerned that the white is not going to show up, but I think I'm just going to keep going with it. Um, doing the outline right now, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. You know, it's that constant question we have with stitching the light, light colors. So that's that. I also have a finish of a wool project. And this came from my wool box. It's a sunflower mat, penny mat. And this comes from my Primitive Gatherings uh, wool subscription box. Get it every other month, and there's super, super good value for your dollar. Um, really good value for your dollar. You get a really nice box. And I'll, I'll show you that in my haul when I get to the haul section. But this is pretty awesome. I, like I say, I did it as a finish. And there it is. Get this out of the way so cute so I got all of my pumpkin box I call my pumpkin box my fall box out of storage today and I'm super excited to do some decorating this weekend so they, it, it drapes fairly nicely so you can you know drape it over a bookshelf if you want or um, very very fun cute so that was just a few evenings worth I think it took me Oh, I don't know, about an hour to prep it all. And then, sorry, I have fuzz, fuzzes, droppings. Anyway, um, took me an hour to prep it with the fusing and um, cutting. And then a couple evenings to stitch all together. And again, kind of mindless and, and fun and just relaxing. You don't have to have a magnifier. You can just stitch away and get them all put together. So... Now, what I have for projects this week, I, I suppose this is actually a part of haul too, but I've actually had this for a couple weeks. But this is a designer. Her name is Hudson Holidays. And she, you can find her on Etsy. There she is, Hudson Holidays. And then she does very, very fun embroidery projects. And this is the one. Again, I found my Halloween scrap fabric box, so I'm very excited to get started on these. She gets all the DMCs floss for the, so it's nothing too fancy. And then you can make them however, if you want to match what, like what she's doing or do your own thing. But she calls it faux, Halloween faux cross stitch. <laughs> uh, I think these are going to be super quick. So very, very, if you need some bowl fillers or some tear tray fillers, these would be fun. So this was just a PDF that I downloaded, like I say, from her Etsy shop. And I've gotten everything prepped. Everything's marked, you know, on my fabric. So I can just stitch, stitch, stitch. Um, yeah, I'm excited to work on this one too. I think this will be very, very fun, quick. And I have to find and dig out my tear tray, so... I can set it up super cute. So that's one project I'm going to work on. And then the other whip that I want to work on is this standalone Designs. Um, I showed this, I think, earlier this year. I have this. It's a, another subscription. It's the only two. I kind of canceled all my other subscriptions just because, oh, impending retirement in a few years with my husband, um, not for a few years, guys, and I don't know about me retiring. I know he's going to be retiring. I don't think I can retire <laughs> because I like being busy. So anyway, anyway, there was there was budget talks <laughs> about um, all of our hobbies. So you know how those go. So anyway, so this is um, I've kept this subscription and I've kept my Woolbox sub subscription. And this is how it will look. And then this is where I'm at so far. So, you know, if I just buckle down, I should be able to get it done. And it came with some super cute rickrack trim. And when I ordered this, it came with the lampshade so it will fit perfect. And yeah, I'm excited to get this one done. She called for three strands of DMC. I know, it looks pretty thick. I think if I were to do this over again, I would do two strands. Um, and I think I would trace the pattern instead of doing the iron-on transfer because it kind of makes it pretty thick. I don't know, guys. 
I, I just wish my stitching looked a little bit finer, but it's still going to be cute. And, you know, it's sitting on a shelf. I don't think it's going to be too... Nobody's going to go up here up close at your lampshade, Kelly. It's fine. So that's it. It should be fun. Can't wait to get that finished. So those are going to be my focuses. See how much I can get done in the next week. I'd love to, to show you the finish of this lamp next week. So I'm thinking, man, I'm going to make that a priority. So... All right, let's go ahead. Um, switch over to main cam for just a little bit. So life update this week. Um, what happened this week? You know, <laughs> my son is in his, um, they call it a practicum. And so it's like an internship for a senior year. And so supporting him in the last couple of weeks because he's been pretty stressed out. Um, do you guys, you know, remember those days when you were, getting ready to become an adult <laughs> and it was starting to occur to you I'm gonna have to become an adult <laughs> well that's what's happening with him so there's been some support with that going on this week um, he had for school he had so I could listen to him when he was on a, a zoom call and I think it was kind of one of the first times where I feel like yeah you know what He's an adult and he's going to be doing a full-time professional job. He's, he's going to be a healthcare administrator. And the whole stress of what's going on is just healthcare, you know, COVID, everything going on with that. So, and he cares so much about his res residents that it's a little stressful right now. So we're, we're talking him through that and I think everything's going to go fine. Um, training for my... 10 mile it's literally the first weekend of october so tomorrow or sunday i think i'm gonna run sunday because i really want to quilt tomorrow so i think i'm gonna run sunday because pretty much after my run i'm worthless it's nap and stitch and that's it <laughs> so that's the update on that it's going really good i run walk so it's a great way to get into running if you guys are interested in learning more just comment below and i can tell you all bunch of resources to get you started but really it's just run at what pace you love to run at and walk and download an interval timer to your phone so I can give you recommendations if you're interested but it's a great way like I said my my other video I'm off my high blood pressure medication I lost another pound so that's good I'm pretty happy about that um, and I really I mean like I say I'm concentrating on trying to eat um, more fruits and vegetables and more whole foods. Um, can't say I've been super strict about that. And so, um, I'm, yeah, I'm happy with my results so far. So hopefully um, you guys are getting out there and getting some exercise and taking care of your health. Uh, I know stitching is a great mental release, emotional release, but um, getting out and getting some exercise, uh, highly, highly recommend for your health. So all right, well, that's enough of that little PSA, right? All right, what else do I have to share with you? Um, I did my questions, I did my stitching update, and I didn't show my cute little insert thing for the stitching update, but that's fine. I'm not going to re-record this. Um, yeah, what else do I have to show you? Oh, oh, haul. <laughs> you want to see some haul? All right, like I say, I've been on, oh, oh you know what, actually, let's do this first. This is um, my sister stitched for the, these for me back in 1996. And I might have shown them on a past video, but I'm going to show them again because they're going up. Um, it's Seasons. And Lori, you'll have to comment below if you remember. I don't know if she, she didn't mark the actual chart. She just marked the year. And oh, there was such a great cross stitch shop. Was this actually a shop too, Lori? I feel like it was because I feel like I went with you. The old America store? Did you get framing and shop there? I feel like we went there. And it was a really cute shop. We should come back. Yeah, so. Seasons. And this was before she, I think this is when she was a relatively new stitcher. No, I feel like she was stitching before this. But she did these fun ones. Maybe because I asked her to. I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time. 1996. And I'm pretty sure this was a Christmas gift to me. And she had them nicely framed for me, which was just absolutely wonderful. So this is the fall. 
there's all the seasons. So I have to show you all the seasons. Then there's winter. It's like glare, like glare free glass. It's nice. Look at that. Pretty much in the back stitch, Lori. Nice job. <laughs> and then this is spring. Aren't they cute? They're so darling. So I think these are going to go up um, and I'm just going to switch them out with the seasons up in my entryway. Very, very fun. That's spring and then it's summer. Well, I got, isn't she cute with her wagon wheel? What is she holding? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a wreath. <laughs> She's holding a wreath. They're fun. Yeah, so those are going to go back up in my entryway. So I thought, um, again, with downsizing and all the fun stuff that we've been talking about in our household, I've been cleaning up things and organizing things, and those were in my storage. She did that one, too. Am I pointing right? There we go. And that was actually my mom's that I, I got when my mom passed. So isn't that pretty? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so that's like a, a past finish. That's not mine. <laughs> All right, so let's do some haul. Um, this is my Willie Box, the most current one. Oh, actually, yeah. Okay. I am going to switch to my overhead. Hold on for a minute. Oh, it's just showing a little bit of the box. Uh, put that over here. Over there. Okay. So this fun, and I'm not going to take everything out of the plastic, guys. I think it's okay. You can see it. But it's a fun ball jar. And it comes with the pattern and all the wools that you need. This stuff out of the way. There we go. And then you, we're getting... um. A set of these with each box so once we get them done and there's two ways that you can stitch them um, you can get fancy or you can do some basic stitching and then I'm sure at the end when we get all six of these there'll be 12 and, and I'm guessing it'll be a mat that's similar to my sunflower mat that I did so that's that one and then this is the let me see if I can minimize the glare there we go uh, three more blocks for the quilt, the Dragonfly Dreams quilt. So this is three more blocks in that quilt. And I haven't, again, you get all the wools and everything, but I haven't begun to prep it. That's, you know, going to be a project, but um, I'm not going to say her, night, her name. Anyway, yeah, I, there's a, a saltbox stitcher did a video on wool applique Ban Banami? Banami? Is that how you say her name? Anyway, where you just stitch with thread. You use a Coates and Clark and then also Vana. So I'm like, oh, you know what? I would much rather just stick with one thread and do the whip stitch and not have to deal with... Because she uses... Um, Oh, she's a big, um, ah, I'm trying to remember the, the thread. Oh, it doesn't say. Go. Oh. I am going to open it up and tell you. No, I can't remember. I'm going to get it open and then I'm going to just kind of probably scream at myself for not. Oh, she shows the thread numbers, not but not who the manufacturer is. Uh, maybe because it's in the first pattern. Oh well. Anyway, let's get driving crazy now. Who the thread manufacturer is? Maybe we'll come across it when we go through the rest of the. the and then this one. This is the is the. Fun. 
there's three pieces of wool here. Perfect for fall. And then also this project. I'm sorry, this is the big bag. Pringle, pringle. And then this fun table mat. It's that's posy party. And again, look at all those pretty wools. So fun. So guys, you get all of these projects. And I want to say, you know, go look at the pricing and see if you can get in on a box. But it's so affordable. I mean, when you really think about all these different projects, I'm hoping that she says who the threads. What thread you need? Feldani! <laughs> I knew it. Are you screaming at me? Fell down on me. So it, it, there's a lot of threads. Um, and you know me. I mean, I love to build my thread collections. But um, I also like the idea of just using using Colts and Clark one color. So I had the Colts and Clark here. I went and they sell it at Michael's. So let me grab it here. It's my Bitsy Bob. This is my embroidery <laughs> Bitsy Bob. Um, this is it. It's called um, Summer Summer Brown. And and it's supposed to like just blend with everything. But while I was there, I got a, a white and a cream and a black. And I thought, well, that should just cover me. Right? That should cover me. So we're going to try it. Because again, um, with the Wooly Bobs that I'm doing for you guys, um, I've gotten the, the model tested for the newest one coming up here in a couple weeks using, you know, overdyes and DMC, but I'm going to do a model using those threads so that gives you guys an option. Because again, you know, the more projects you can do, the better. So, awesome. So that's that. All right. So that's that haul. Let me go ahead. I did get one chart because I had to order some floss for my... Oh, for my, um, for my Renner Jouvet that I'm working on. So I needed to order more Onyx and just more overdyed blacks and tin roof. I was out of tin roof. So I got those. So I'm not going to show you guys those. Those are just your basic overdyes. Um, but I did get some fabrics. So I got some, just some new, really neutral 14 count picture of this plus data. So some nice big, relatively big pieces. So I should be able to do quite a few projects. And then of course, fabric should not travel by itself. So I got this one because everybody and their brother, I know has stitched it and I really want to stitch it too. And I think it's going to go fairly quick. Now, of course, not all the threads were in stock, but you know, I'll substitute and make do. I probably have, I got all the threads for it. So once I get with done with my Halloween, this is going to be a new start. And I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use this fabric. I think that'll be great. So yeah, that's a future project, future project waiting in of the wings. Now I told you guys I wanted to work on my Halloween quilt. I'm pretty sure I found two boxes of Halloween and fall fabric scraps that I past self put into boxes saying, look, Kelly, put all your Halloween scraps in the Halloween box. That way you'll know where to find them. I did a really quick check. I'm pretty sure those blocks are in there. <laughs> you guys cross your fingers for me that they're in there. I'm pretty sure. But again, I'll be doing um, some finishing, hopefully. If not next week, the following week, I should have all those Halloween charts from Brenda Gervais finished into little pillows and do a super cute tear tray whichever I don't know we'll figure it out all right so that's that um oh then the other project that I really want to get working on and this was from we went to I live close to the Twin Cities and so uh, friends and I back in April went to I don't know did I show you guys these and I'm going to show you again to the um, Stacy West shop. Um, Better Month Basin, her shop. 
And this is the project that I really want to work on this weekend. So that's what I'm going to start. It's got, it's a kit. It's a full kit. It's got all the wools and it's got all the fabrics. So I'm going to cut into that tomorrow. That's happening. So lots of projects. Hopefully I'll have some status updates to show you guys next week. Put this over here so I don't lose it. Because you know, hey, I found my first pumpkins. It was sitting right on the shelf. <laughs> but when, you know when you get panicked and you're looking for something thinking you lost it and you just can't see it? There it is. <laughs> so that's that chart that's available in my shop. Hey, that's O'Kelly Co. That's O'Kelly.com. I didn't say that about in the beginning. That's fine. All my information will be down below that if you want to check out my shop in the Bitsy Buds. Might as well do. Shop update. <laughs> shop update okay all right so what do we got for shop update we've got three new bitsy bobs for you guys mulberry grove is the name of them there's going to be a cutie and guys i'm literally hoarding the last of this blackbird fabric that i have but it was like the perfect green to go with this so it, and it's only in the cutie so that's the cutie and this is a very good, like, I call them a neutral Bitsy Bob because basically you can use them for any kind of project. Like, I see this would be awesome for, you know, sampler stitchers. Um, small sampler, larger sampler, and the inside is the same for both. You get your felt station for your threads, the magnet where the scissors is for your needle. It's a very strong neodymium magnet. And then your zippered vinyl pocket for your threads, folded up chart, whatnot. So they both look the same on the inside. So yeah, um, we also have keep of the week. Now, do I have one? Oh, no, no. Yes, we do. Look at me. <laughs> All right, keep of the week. You guys are so patient with me last week. I just was having dickens of a time with Shopify, um, but I figured it out because I, don't know, I had a clear head this morning and I figured it out. So the way I'm doing it is the keep of the week. It's all for those folks that just want to try one keep. They want to see if they like the system. They want to try it out. So you get $3 off. Um, but if you want to get that keep and you also want to add more keeps, to your stash, then you can do the buy more, save more. And so that should all work now. I tested it in the cart and um, how that works is buy two, save, I wanna make sure I say that, save six, buy three, save nine, buy four, save 12. So that's all on my website if you wanna just confirm that, everything, and that will be good through next Thursday. So these are all keep of the weeks. Um, I do my shop updates on Friday. So this is the keep of the week. Busy Bee Stitcher. So what you get is you get um, the keep and the needle minder and also the labels. And so if you are wondering what the heck is a keep Kelly, I have a video that talks all about keeps and how they work. Okay. So go ahead and check that out. Keep of the week. And yeah, so the other update I have for you guys is just that um, keeping you updated on my dream to become a fabric designer. <laughs> I figure the more I put this out in the universe, the better it's, it could fruition manifest, right? So um, doing some pretty good work on that. So I got my, I'm very excited. Um, I got my sample back. Uh, one out of three was good. The other two of uh, the colors were off. And I, this happens a lot with fabric designers. So I think I'll switch to the overhead camera so I can show you this print. And it's going to be tied to my next Wooly Bob release. So I'm very excited to show this to you guys. Um, let me switch over to my overhead. Look at it! <laughs> Isn't it awesome? It's, um, isn't it cute? It's a little, it's, it's the bluebird with the tomato. And then this is um, a fun trail of cross stitches going through. Oh, you guys, it was so fun. So fun. And so I have coordinating prints that I had to, like I say, tweak the colors. Um, 
And so those are ordered and hopefully I'm hoping by the either the last week of September or the first week of October that I will have a Wooly Bob and a special edition of Bitsy Bobs that are using my designed fabric. So, so very fun to do that. And I've got some more. I have just, I've literally, my iPad is full of ideas. So, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, really? Okay, fine. I'm going to have to edit. Really? Oh, come on now. You gotta love when your webcam. Oh, I need to go like this, Cal. No? Here. There. <laughs> gotta love it when your webcam goes out and the battery dies. <sniffs> gotta have some kind of technical difficulty with every single floss tube, right, guys? Okay, so that's it for me this week, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And again, you can follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram at Kelly Stadola. And here on YouTube, obviously, This Creative Life, go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell. I would really appreciate it. It really helps out my channel. And that's okelly.com is my website. And the Facebook group, real quick update, is um, Love to Stitch is the Facebook group. It's a private group. Uh, I will have announcement in next week's Foss Tube about my first upcoming guest for our... Um, evening stitch live on Facebook with um, a special guest and we'll have prizes and all sorts of fun things. So I hope you'll join us and uh, go ahead and answer the questions um, when you go to Love to Stitch there on Facebook and I will get you into the group. So stay tuned for next week. I hope you all are doing well and have a great week and we'll see you. We'll see you soon. Bye everybody.